Hey everybody, welcome to the kitchen. So when you buy pork loin, there's pork loin tenderloins rather, there's two in a pack. So I thought, hmm, what a better way than to do it two ways. So tonight you're gonna to get pork loin two ways. I got a friend, Ray, and every Sunday he eats pork loin. And he has this formula and it's pork loin with just the right number of potatoes, just the right number of carrots, and he's eating, eating this every single Sunday for, I don't know, many, 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 many years. So I'm gonna dedicate this to Ray. All right, what do I got here? Let's get started. My oven is set to 400 degrees. I have some olive oil ready to brown one of the pork loins. Um, I've got some uh, panko breadcrumbs right here that I that are seasoned, but I still added some Wegmans Tuscan season to the greatest seasoning in the land. I added some garlic to it. I've got some avocado spray, which I'm going to use to coat the ten the second tenderloin with. I have a uh, one egg with a little bit of water uh, mixed up here to dip the tenderloin in, and I have my two tenderloins. And most important, I have Sauvignon Blanc. All right, tenderloin number one, I'm gonna take the fat one. And I'm gonna take the fat one and I'm gonna roll him real quick in this egg wash and let it get all in there. Some people might try and take this piece off right here. It doesn't bother me that much, the piece of fat or whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna let it dry. Unfortunately, my egg rolled into my breadcrumbs, but that's okay, I got plenty of them here. I'm gonna get plenty of breadcrumbs on this loin, coating it well, as best as I can, taking some scraps, throw them up on top of it. I will be cleaning the inside of my stove after this because there's breadcrumbs going down into my stove, which is good. All right, I got it coated pretty well. We're going to brown him, but we're only browning it. We're gonna brown this pretty well on every side that we can get browned. And then once it's browned, we're gonna put it onto this pan right here with a piece of tin foil. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 400, then we're gonna bring it down to 350 as soon as we throw it in there, and then we're gonna monitor, monitor it as we could. Now, here's the most important part about this recipe. If you don't have a thermopen, then don't make this recipe. Because pork tenderloin, the reason people are afraid of pork tenderloin is because it can dry out so easily. Highly recommended. All right, so I got this browning. I'm gonna let it get brown on this side. And it's probably gonna take four minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it over to the other side. A set of tongs would be nice. All right, right at the uh, and three and a half minutes. I'm gonna flip this because I took a little peek of it. Hey, this is all depends on how brown you want it. Don't forget, it's gonna do its fair share of browning when it gets in the oven. Not too much, but it will brown up a little more. So as you can see, if you can see, it's nice and golden brown on the top. And now we'll give it another three or four minutes on this side. And then I will, I always try and get the sides too. I'll flip it and hold it, flip it and hold it. And you'll see that in a minute. The key here is not getting the oil too hot. On my gas stove, I'm at a 4.5 out of high, uh, high after six. So 4.5 out of seven. On my gas stove, this is about right for getting a nice delicate brown. Um, I don't know what it is, you'll have to play with yours. Hopefully you know what it is on yours. I guess the oil temperature would be somewhere between 350 and 375. I don't know if my thermopen will read it, but it's worth a shot. My thermopen says 340 on the temp. Not sure how accurate it is to put a thermopen in a pan, but that's what my thermopen says. All right, we're right at another three, three and a half minutes. Now when you turn this, be very gentle or you'll knock the bark off of it. And you don't want that to happen. Perfect. Now I'm gonna set it here like this. Sometimes she'll stay, sometimes she won't. So 
sometimes I have to sit here and hold it. Alright, I'm going to gently roll it over to the other side. There's the side that was just there, nice and brown. My oil is getting a little hot. That's why the side is brown so well. Does it sear in the juices? I don't know if it sears in the juices. I just know it makes a nice bark on it, and that's the way I like to eat my pork loin. Alright, we don't want to uh, fry this too long, so I'm going to take it now, transfer it to the piece of aluminum foil, turn off the stove, put this in the oven at 400, keep it to the back of your oven where it's mostly the, the most better uh, controlled temperature. And once it's in the oven, we're going to bring it down to 350. And now we wait. Probably going to be less than 20 minutes to get it to the temperature that we want it. I think I'm going to cook it to about 143, which I'll check uh, in a minute. But uh, that seems to be the temp I like, uh, that I recall I like to go to. I'm going to clean this up, get ready for pork, loin, pork tenderloin number two. Be back. Okay, pork loin number two. Easy wheezy. Two ways you can do it. You can take a little olive oil with one of these and brush it down first if you want. I'm going to go the easy route. I have a can of avocado oil right here. I'm going to oil it down one side. I'm going to oil down the other side. Then I'm going to go with my two faves. Garlic. Three faves, a little salt, since a little pepper, and my Wegmans. salt, a little pepper, a little Wegmans. I don't know who makes this Wegmans Tuscan spice, but it really is the best spice in the land. Kind of eat all this stuff up here that's left on the plate. Now this one is going to cook really fast. Now, I would normally cook this on the grill, but it's 96 degrees outside. So I have a little griddle set up over here. I'm going to spray it with some olive oil or some avocado oil. And I'm going to hope I got it at the right temperature. We'll see. And basically, you would put this on your grill and let it cook. Now, again, 143 is indeed what I said where I was going to pull it. That's where I like to pull it. 145 is mid-rare for a pork loin. I just looked it up. Um, I'm going to pull it somewhere in the 140, 143. And we'll be done. Pork loin will be ready. Um, I happen to have some leftover scalloped potatoes and ham that I'm having with mine. Um, I'll, which you'll see that recipe probably after the pork loin recipe. I don't know. Hopefully you will. But uh, that's how simple pork loin is. And uh, I really suggest you try it. Get yourself a good thermometer. If you don't do anything for anything you cook, get yourself a good thermometer. You use it on the grill for steaks. You can use it for pot roast or whatever you're cooking. I mean, it's just, that, that, I don't know how people live without one. Um, if you can cook, uh, meat without a thermometer, then you're a really good cook. All right, I'm going to let this brown on one side. It's going to take a while, probably eight to ten minutes maybe, and then I'll flip it, and then it should be ready. Be back with you. All right, I may have to flip this a few times 
I put it on at 5.56, and it's been on you know, three and a half, four minutes, but it's really starting to brown, so I'm going to turn it, bring my temps down a little bit, and let it continue to cook. Nice grill lines in it. Looks pretty nice. Not too shabby. I'm baking on due to the smaller cut and that this, this direct heat pork, uh, pork tenderloin is going to cook a little faster. So it's been on another three or four minutes on this side. I'm going to do the same thing with this loin. Except it probably will stand up. And I'll do that on both sides. I, I checked it just to see what it was at. It was about 85 degrees. So uh, we got a little ways to go. All right, a couple minutes have passed. I'm going to put it on the other side now. And uh, as things would have it, our uh, loin in the oven is actually cooking faster than this one. How do you like that trick? Until I try and grab it. All right, another thing to think about if you do this on your oven, this burner back here is a little smaller than this one. So on this griddle, I'm going to switch my my fork around now and let it let it let it try and get cook a little more evenly. I got a both sides got a nice mark on both sides. Smelling gravy. Smelling good. All right, let's take a peek at this. Uh, loin. It went in at 550 and it is 609 right now. Man, it smells good. All right, we are in the thickest point of this unit, 142 degrees. As I pull out, I see 137. 135, it is time for this loin to come out. Now, it's going to rest for a good while. I'm going to take it and try not to burn my legs. I'm just now healing from a burn I had already. I'm going to put this on this plate right here. This platter, by the way, greatest platter in the land. Bought it in Waynesville, North Carolina, up near Asheville. It's made of bamboo. And I've had it for years. This pork needs to rest. At least 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to flip this over one more time. Give it a quick temperature shot. It's amazing. It's uh, about 120. So we're going to give it a few more minutes, and then we'll let it join its friend and uh, seep for a moment, for a little while. I've been spinning this direct heat, and it's up to about 135, 138. I'm going to go ahead and take it off, and we'll see what it looks, the difference it looks like. I would never, in my wildest dreams, uh, imagine that it would take less amount of, uh, more amount of time for do this. But if it was on your grill, your grill would probably be hotter and a lot of direct heat, like being in the oven. So that probably explains it. Explains it. It is 6:20, and this went in at 5:56, at 5:56. So, uh, 24 minutes. And we're gonna put him in here right next to his buddy. And let him, let those two snuggle up for a little bit. And then I'm gonna give him eh, 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back and slice them. And hopefully they will both be mid-rare. So I will see you back in just a few. All right, this is real time here, folks. Let's get a look at these pork loins. Uh, these pork loins sat exactly one Jackie Shea video catching redfish. So let's start with the pork loin with. 
pork loin one of the pork loin twins. Perfect medium rare. It don't get no better than that. I'm not going to cut a lot because I'm not ready to eat yet. Pork loin number two. Perfect mid rare pork loin. Mm, 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 mm. That is absolutely delicious. All right. If you like the videos, please subscribe and like while I feed my face because I would really appreciate it. And there goes my Roomba starting up, so it's time for me to get out of here. And y'all have a good night and take care.